guys, good to have you all back. In case you're new to my channel, my name is Margaret from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journal projects, and the occasional vintage treasure hunting. I have a fantastic kit on my desk. This is from uh, Michelle to Junk Journal Studio. It's called Love Always. It's very it's Valentine's. It's sweet and pink and roses, and it's so, so cute. Um, I have a project in mind to use the kit. What I'm going to do is do a quick flip through of the kit. Uh, as usual, this is all linked below. Uh, and then I'm going to tell you all about the project. Let me show you the kit first. The kit is called Love Always. Um, there's a freebie involved, a beautiful one. I think including the freebie, it's 52 pages or something like that. It's 50 plus pages. I almost printed out every single one of them. Uh, so let me show you, it's gorgeous. I have some pages uh, with just the ephemera pieces, some cards and some sort of lovely labels. It's, it's Valentine's um, and hearts and roses and pink. It's just lovely. Beautiful. It's very vintagey, right? Vintagey, antique -y, just, you know, the way I like it. It has some cute little labels with kittens on it. It's just, it's amazing. All sorts of fussy cutting, a lot of fussy cutting. That's why I'm showing it you uh, now, because after I've shown you, I need to be fussy cutting for at least an hour, I guess. <laughs> at least an hour. Lovely cards, and these are wax seals. Isn't it cute? It's so cute with the playing cards, vintagey ones. Yeah, love it. And then some uh, pages with fuzzy cuts with flowers. And you can see it probably on camera. It has some sort of gold um, in it. It's super lovely. I love this one with all the hearts. Yeah, from like um, vintage Valentine's cards and, and such. So lots of fuzzy cutting. And then these little cuties. Oh, I love this. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, I love this one, but I don't know if I can cut between. I'm going to I'm going to try. Then tabs. If you don't have a tab die cut, this is fantastic way to make uh, your own whale tail tabs. Yeah. And then the faux postage stamps, more tickets, buttons, buttons and numbers and everything is pink. So love it. Love it. Labels in pink. Fantastic. Words. Yes, sentiments or words. Um, don't usually use those. Uh, but, you know, I, ne I might. I might. I might. Then this is a very interesting page. Um, again, all fuzzy cuts. But it says here, bows, bows are mirrored. They can be placed back to back. Yeah, so you can cut them out and they can be placed back to back. So if you flip it over, it's going to be the same on both sides. Uh, which is interesting because in that case, you can uh, have them stick out of a page on attack or whatever uh i think it will be lovely i i don't know if i'm gonna try it in this project but it's a lovely idea michelle i love this then beautiful large tags look at the lady this looks like kate greenway i think it is um with labels and then the envelope pocket pages look at this large envelope it is fantastic it's like a coin envelope policy envelope thingy i don't know but the labels look at the labels now michelle i need to have a, a quick word with you i love them a bunch you know i love them a bunch they are actually from holland from the netherlands yes but they're from amsterdam and volodam that is not rotterdam love <laughs> It's just a joke. It's an inside joke. If you're from the Netherlands you're uh, and you live in Amsterdam, you don't really like Rotterdam and vice versa. I have a problem because I actually my dad is from Rotterdam and my mom is from Amsterdam. So dilemma. Um, fantastic envelope again. And I just I read this and to me it says a tox pot card. <laughs> but it's tox postcard. Yeah, well, my brain sometimes. A library card pocket with a library card. Love these. Um, hoping my circle punch is the same size. Probably not, so need to do some cutting. Another lovely pocket. Labels cards. Love this. I think I have a stamp um, that does this. Do not know for sure. More pretty labels and um, pockets. And now for the for the normal pages. I printed all the ephemera pieces on heavier cardstock. 
these i've printed on a uh, normal copy paper because i want to do some tearing in this and making pockets and such love them love them love them is everything upside down of course it is yeah very vibrant colors beautiful flowers now um michelle's kit is on letter size i guess and i print everything on a4 that's why i have such large borders but you know that's okay it's okay with the lovely ladies and the lace journal pages for sure this one with the lace and the hearts and this one with the swirl and all sorts of love yeah you can make um journal um pages with these cut off the white borders and journal pages beautiful background page with music and these are very lovely with music roses and then um decorated one i love these again journal pages with a cute little pink frame love that love the lace on the top yeah so lots of journal pages um oh so cute so cute look at the colors it's so i'm probably gonna be fuzzy cutting these because i really really love these yeah fantastic roses and script then uh, a collaged one uh i adore this one a bunch love it look at that label um a pink sort of a candy stripe a page love that one now this is the the uh, freebie um in the freebie there's a fuzzy cut page yeah freebie number six page three um it's available on uh, in her coffee shop then beautiful ephemera i love it more ephemera that you can fuzzy cut then um a collage page very similar to the one that's in the normal kit and a beautiful two beautiful background pages i adore this one this one is really really pretty and with the damask and now this one guys i printed for two page why because because these are lined papers and i don't use those um and also i'm not gonna not gonna make a journal with this this is the only one that came in the normal kit and these all came from the freebie so actually if you download the freebie you can make a, a small journal for sure so yeah uh i'm going to be fussy cutting a bunch i'm going to be fussy cutting a bunch and what i'm going to do is make a flippy flappy pocket interactive thingy yeah it doesn't make any sense i know but it's going to be fun 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 lots of fussy cutting i didn't cut everything out guys um just a bits and bobs that i thought i might use now let me tell you uh what the idea is i don't have a prototype so bear with me this is an eight by five almost an eight by five inch um it's a sort of the same size as a journal page but you can also have this as a standalone now this is a page from the freebie i did print it out again on somewhat heavier paper so this is sort of the base what i want to do is make a pocket here a nice one just on this surface that you can put lots of pretty stuff in then i want to make a flip pocket here a flip pocket here and another one that is also going to be sort of a closure for all the pockets underneath it doesn't make any sense i know i have no other way to explain it at the moment but you know you've already seen the end end, end result by the thumbnail right so uh, hopefully it's lovely you tell me i have no clue probably gonna be lovely so um i want to make a pocket on here um just on the bottom with this piece of paper I'm going to use regular stuff, guys. Uh, glue, scissors, uh, these bits and bobs that I've cut out, and uh, probably some inking. So no fancy, fancy, fancy stuff. Now I want this to be a pocket on the bottom. However, I do love this sort of edge and the flower. And uh, I did uh, do a sort of a raised flower pocket uh, from um, Rachel's. Uh, what's my called challenge and i thought why not make this into a raised flower however this is printed on uh, copy paper so in order to sort of secure this uh, i want to back it and i'm going to do it in a very simple manner yes i'm just gonna fold it in like so 
and then glue these parts together and have them backed easy right i think so i just you know sort of came up with it just now so i'm going to glue these two together now for measurements i'm i'm um eyeballing everything i'm eyeballing everything um with the pockets i will however tell you how large i am making the pockets but you can make them in any size that you want now this is going to be a pocket on here but i want to fuzzy cut this out right i'm gonna do that off camera guys yes so i'm letting this dry while i'm letting it dry um i want to make another pocket a big one that will flap over here for that i am using this piece of paper i love this sort of a pink stripe cuteness now for the measurements of this one i took out a card where is it where's my card i have everything in order or so i thought yeah here yeah, here they are i'm sorry this card i want to have this card in this pocket so i am making the pocket according to this size this measurement just just what i'm thinking what i want to do is hinge the pocket on the back side trick it's a trick it's a trick i'm going to use this bit so this is going to be the hinge i'm going to hinge it to the back so you can flip it open so this is going to be the size of the pocket but we need to double it up so i'm just gonna take uh, this piece off yeah on my uh, piece of paper i already cut off the white borders everywhere well nearly everywhere is it going to be too big it's too big i think it's going to be too big and we need to make it shorter of course now this is going to be the hinge i'm going to fold this in and like so will this still fit it will still fit I'm just going to leave a little bit of room there so it will flip over here and you can attach it on the other side i know it doesn't make any sense but you'll see you'll see now it's also way too tall i uh, want the um, card to stick out a little bit so i think i'm going to cut it about here right about here That's why I'm not giving you any measurement, guys, because I don't, I haven't measured anything yet. Now, let me measure it for you uh, in case you really, really want to know. This is, uh, well, five, five by almost eight, five by almost eight. And that's because I'm using this card. Yeah. Do we want to make a notch on the top? I think so. I think I want to have a notch here, so the card comes out, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Um, let's see. I'm measuring from this side, because this is the whole size of the pocket. Uh, guesstimating it. I'm going to make a notch in both um, of the pieces of paper, so in the, in the front and in the back. Are you? Yes, I am. I am. Yeah. So there. Now what I want to do is put glue here and here to first sort of make the pocket. And this is going to be the hinge. Yeah, but also want inking. Lucky winner is, well, today gathered twigs. Just want to ink all around it before I glue bits down now um, if I'm going to make a hinge I am going to leave a little bit of room the tiniest bit of room here so I'm gonna put ink here 
I'm going to distress it here because I do not want to see any white stuff. Just a smaller strip, but that's okay. See, so you won't see any um, white. You could also have it, you know, printed on both sides. That would have been fantastic. Yeah, but I didn't. Are you going to miter it here? Let's, let's just miter it. Let's be professional and miter it. Yep. Did we ink it everywhere? I um, only didn't ink the fold here, but I can do that afterwards. So yeah, taking out art for this. Are you still with me? Hopefully, hopefully you are. <laughs> small strip of glue here and a small strip of glue there do not glue on your mat there you go so we made a pocket yes I'm going to sort of fold this in And I'm going to hinge it like so. So this is going to be on the back of the project. Pocket here. Now for the pocket underneath. I'm going to cut this out. This is going to be here, here. And then we're going to have a pocket here and another pocket there. Flippy floppy thingy. I cut it out. See? It looks lovely. And now it's a little bit sturdier, sturdier so um, you will not damage the flower hopefully i'm going to use art for this again look at the lovely back don't look at the lovely back don't i'm not gonna gluing it on three sides i'm not making any sort of um, um gussets in the pocket because i want this to be sort of as flat as possible also not gluing all the way to the bottom i just want it to float for a little bit so Here's pocket number one. Then this is going to be pocket number two. It's going to have this card in it. I am going to do something to the card as well, lovies. Uh, I glued it, yeah? It's going to be in here. Is it? Well, we measured it, so it better fit. <laughs> yeah, of course it does. So this is going to be in here. Like so. Again, not all the way to the bottom. I'm going to have it float. And now I want to have a pocket with this card. But I want the opening to be on this side. Yeah? So, for that pocket, I'm using this piece of paper. So, I need to have it this height. A little bit taller, of course. Because we want to glue it and tuck it in. And it's already sort of kind of small. I'm um, just going to put a mark where I want to cut it. I want to cut it, let's say, over here. And then we want twice this size and a little bit. So one, flipping it over, two, little bit. I'm just going to cut it here. I think we'll have enough. It's not an exact measurement, guys. No. Oh, did I see my pen mark? <laughs> Show me, guys. Where is it? Where? Here, here. Well, hopefully it's here. Probably not. But that's okay. We can also make the flap a little bit bigger. There we go. Here's one. Here's the other one. This would work better if you were put the markings on the back where it's white and you can see it. You know, just an idea, Margaret. Just an idea. So yes, um, we're going to do the same principle, uh, but uh, this is going to be the flap, yeah, with the opening on this side. Is this high enough? Yeah. Deep enough? Yeah. Okay, 
So this is going to be the pocket. With the opening over here, this is going to be the hinge. No, it's not. It's not. Um, I was like, you did something wrong. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Guys, it'll be okay. Uh, normally, we'd have then the pocket on the top. That's okay. We're not going to have the top pocket on the top. We're going to have it here. So I am eventually going to um, slit this open. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. No worries. Don't panic. I'm, I'm mostly talking to myself, guys. So what I want to do first is some inking. Do you need to do the inking first? Yes, I'm going to do the inking first. Need to ink this again some. Some inking. And I'm going to glue it on all three sides. Also at the top, because we want to have a pocket that is side loading. So, gluing it shut. Gluing it shut, like so. Like, oh, no, no, no. No love, no. Ink here. Ink here. I find it very, um, much easier to ink in advance. Could have inked it um, later on in between, but you know, that's just messy. That's just really messy. Okay, first I'm going to mitre it. I know it's going to sound strange, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. See, so this is going to be the pocket, but there's no opening. No, I know there's no opening. That's why I am making one. So it's going to be over here. I want the opening to be here and then the card like this stick out. So I'm going to take, you can do this with scissors. You can do, oh, I'm going to do it with my paper trimmer. I'm just going to do it with my paper trimmer. Oh, why not? I'm going to take off the tiniest sliver. There's probably a better way to do this, but this happens to be my way. <laughs> happens to be my way. Notch, notch. We're going to do notch in the middle. Yeah, of course we are. Just a small one. I might do uh, tabs on the cards. Don't know yet. But I might. See? And this one's going to go like so. Over here. And then have this um, as a card in the pocket. Tada! Fantastic. Now I need to make the smallest pocket over here. And I think I want to use this piece. Yeah. And there's going to be sort of a, like a belly band over it on this side that is going to fit into that pocket. So you have a pocket and a sort of a belly band and you put it inside and then it's closed. Well, that is the idea. What do you think? Right? I think so. I'm going to make the belly band first. Uh, for this, I'm going to use this envelope. Uh, why? I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Uh, I just love the image on here. So I am going to take this piece off straight away because we really don't need this. Also on the other side, don't need this one either. Uh, there's going to be a, a whole piece from the bottom that's going to be cut off. Now, this is single sided. Uh, what I could have done is printed both sides, but I didn't. Um, and I also want this piece to be really, really sturdy because it's going to be bent and such to, to uh, fit in the pocket. Uh, so I like that it's sort of heavier paper, but I want to make it a little bit heavier and I want to back it. So I just, I'm going to fold it sort of in the middle and then fold it in on itself. Yeah, but I love to have the lady on here on the front and the gentleman on the back. So I'm going to score. I'm going to fold it, uh, but my folding is probably not that fantastic. 
I think I want to, um, let's do it like so, love. Let's do it like so. I think I want to have her on there. A little bit more. So I'm not giving you measurements, just you know, fold it where the lady ends and the gentleman begins. So I'm not gonna, I'm now I'm gonna fold the gentleman over. <clears throat> so this, the part of the gentleman, is going to be the width of the of the belly band thing. Let's call it the belly band. I have no clue how to call it otherwise. So I'm just gonna cut the, him off. So there you go. There you go. Right. I'm going to use this piece as the flap, as the attachment. Yeah. I don't need to. Uh, this piece but i'm gonna cut it off anyway for now i am going to um snip this whole piece out otherwise this will be a little bit too heavy we just need one layer there so this is going to be the hinge right yeah well hopefully yes this is going to be the hinge I'm just going to glue these two parts together, yeah, with regular glue stick or whatever sort of glue you want. Don't glue on here yet. So I'm gluing this in. This is the belly band. This is the hinge that I already glued. That's okay. It's going to be stuck down anyway. <clears throat> now, let's take out the big piece sort of position them i want this here and this here then this is going to be over here like so and this is going to go over i want to have a pocket that is sort of yay high or yay long whatever you want so i just need this piece so i'm going to trim this off no real measuring just going to trim it off I'm trimming it off straight for now. I will have this um, maybe with rounded corners or in another kind of shape just to make it easier to put in the small pocket. So this is going to be the belly band for now. I will do, I think I'm going to round corners, don't know yet. And I'm going to do all the sort of, isn't it lovely? Inking all around it. So this is going to go like so. Now we need to make a pocket here. And that is going to be a little bit tricky because I want to use this paper, but I really want this to be on the front. So I need to hurt my brain for a little bit how we are going to do it. But I think I know. Um, for now, I'm going to cut a piece off. I want a pocket that it's going to fit in a little bit wider. Uh, otherwise, it would be a, like a disaster to, to try and... Uh, put in so I think I want to cut about here about here there. I'm gonna put a mark on the other side because my eyes love this. so I'm gonna take off the whole strip and then we're gonna figure out how are we going to fold it to have this on the front I think I figured it out I want this to be really want this to be on the front of the of the pocket um, and I think I want to have it a little bit off the page. So the hinge needs to be on this side. So I'm making a really big hinge. I'm going to shorten it later. So this is going to be the hinge. It's going to be like so. Yes. Uh, let's see. Then I think I want the pocket to be this size. So over here, I'm just going to sort of mark it there. And this is, uh, I cut it at two inches, I believe. Yeah, two inches. Where'd you mark it, love? Oh, honestly, there. Marked it here. There you go. So what I need to do is fold this in. Have it straight. that's a small pocket will that still fit let's see yes it's going to be a small pocket just a small one so and now i need to cut this smaller 
up until the fold there so <laughs> that's dutch and english there so over there oh uh, i'm sorry that's very very much dutch and also with a rotterdam accent gonna cut this off so this piece is equal to this piece maybe even a little bit shorter i'm sorry for all the confusion guys it's just you know my brain Right, so this is going to be the pocket. Will that fit? That will fit. This is going to be the flap. Way too big. I'm just going to snip a bit off. Mitering it. Yeah. I'm going to ink here. Just to get rid of this piece of white. Yes. And I'm going to glue it shut on three sides yes here here and here and then we need to open it up over here again i don't even need to i don't even need to glue this no i don't you don't because nothing is going to fall out so i'm just gonna glue these two sides together yeah then we need to open this up by taking off a sliver. I do want to have a notch in here, but I really do not want to cut through the label. That worked. Yep. I'm inking a whole bit. Front and back. So this is going to go over here. And when it's all stuck together, you can slide this piece in the pocket. Like so. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I just know it is. Now, let's assemble the whole thing glue everything together and i'm going to do a little bit of decorating i'm going to fill it with lots of beautiful ephemera that came with the kit let's start before i glue all the pieces on i rounded the corners optional inked it inked it a little bit more i do want to have this sort of crunchy love it love it love it love the papers michelle they're really really up my alley if i'm gonna do something cutesy sweet that this is it this is it um i'm gonna start with this pocket thingy yeah i want to do some decorating but i'm gonna do it after it's been glued on maybe not smartest idea but you know i'm not having the smartest idea this day so <laughs> let's see how it will work out now i'm not gluing all the way into the like the crease um because i want to leave a little bit of room so when you glue this to the back side, leave like a sixteenth of an inch, like a sliver, so that you can easily fold it over. See, like so. There's a little bit of room in between the pocket and the card. So here's one. Now, this was the other one. And I'm just going to position it sort of in the, in the middle because this one is smaller. Yeah, you can also have it like so, or so, whatever you want, lovies, whatever you want. Again, not gluing all the way to the crease. Ooh, look at the back of this one. Um, I'm going to do it sort of like so. Let's see, this is the middle because I've put art on it and art is like, I'm going to be stuck. I'm going to be stuck on there like forever. yep see in the middle now you want this one i'm gonna put that in the middle as well maybe a little bit lower i think you want to have it a little bit lower what do you think, guys think i'm gonna do this one first because i really want um this bit to stick out not have it at the same height yeah? Okay. Uh, 
over here. See, leaving a little bit of room on this edge. Yeah. Now, before I glue this on, I'm going to stick it in. <laughs> I'm going to stick it in first. Oh, I rounded the corners on this one, guys. It's a little bit fiddly because it's not stuck on yet. So I'm going to have this in the center before I glue this on. And I'm going to glue it on like so. Very big flap. That's okay. Because I'm most likely I'm going to glue this down on a page like so. Yeah? I'm going to glue it down on a page. If not, back the whole thing with another piece of paper. Have another pocket on it. See? This goes here, here. And then we have cards here, card here, and cards here. I have cards. Ooh, look at the lovely... Uh, I like the gentleman on the back. Like... Sneaky Pete. There you go. Fantastic. Let's do some decorating and let's do some cards. I want to start the decorating from the inside out. Yeah. <clears throat> this pocket is already lovely. I think I want to have a small label maybe on the bottom. Maybe something like this. Will that look nice? I think it will. It will. Love these labels, Michelle. Yep. Absolutely adore them. Um, well, yeah, art's out, so let's try some art on this. So while I'm decorating all these pockets and such, if at all, because I, it's maybe a label here, but not anything else, I want to take into consideration how everything falls atop of each other, right? So I'm going to decorate this pocket. I am going to close this up to see what will show and what won't because I'm just sort of a perfectionist like that. Now, in order to decorate this pocket, I want to have, uh, well, the background. I am going to put this big tag in. What I did, guys, I backed them with each other. Yeah, so two of them. And I think, I think I'm gonna try this trick. Michelle made these bows that you can, um, they are mirrored, so you can have them glued together and then they will be the same. It will take a lot of very precise fuzzy cutting and I don't think it will exactly, exactly match, but that's why, you know, Tim Holtz invented uh, ink. Well, he didn't, of course, but... Okay, so I want to have... Is this going to be on top of her head? Well, that's a shame. Oh, no, I'm going to have it a little bit. It's going to cover her eye a little bit. Well, let's have her on the back then. It's going to go on like so. Yeah, as a topper. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to have this one on the other side. That's just my idea. Hopefully this was also Michelle's idea. Okay. It's, it's going to cover her head a little bit. That's okay. I already inked the, the bottom half. Yes. And now we need to be very precise with gluing. Is it smart to have art on here then? Not smart at all. No. So I'm just going to put glue stick on. Because we need to move it about. Just to see if we can match it up. As much as possible. Just the top half. Okay. A little bit lower. Can I do it a little bit lower? Hello. I'm a little bit lower. Tiny bit here as well. Well, this is close as I'm going to get, I think. Yes. But we'll be inking it, so it, it will be fine. See, so all the sort of white edges that are sticking out. And maybe yours doesn't. So then good for you. Oh, this side is much, this side is much better. And this is going to be the front side. So there, isn't that cute, Michelle? Was this sort of the purpose of the bows? Um, if so, brilliant. If not, then I am brilliant. Either of us uh, is brilliant. 
well we're both brilliant let's be honest yes look at that it's so cute oh yes and it's sticking out it's sticking out as well so um maybe something over here i also have these sort of cute little hearts is that much too much a bit much of course it is do we mind mm, maybe maybe one of those because you know i love those the big ones oh yes for sure for sure let's have volendam on here volendam is a smaller sort of town in the netherlands it's a uh, near water so there's a lot of fishermen there uh so if you want to have some really good fish you go to volendam um also you can have your <laughs> picture taken there in in a traditional dutch sort of um costume yes with wooden shoes and everything <laughs> and also some of the best dutch singers come from there well it's a matter of taste i guess uh, that's what is known for a couple of uh, sort of famous dutch singers um have their origins in volendam so a lesson in sort of dutch oh don't you just love it i already love it so much now let's see um let's have something on here it doesn't matter where we're going to put it here Maybe we should start on the front. Maybe we should. I really love this uh, backing of the um, of a cabinet. This backing of a cabinet card. Will it look nice if we put it uh, like so? It would look extremely nice. So yeah, I'm gonna have it on here a little bit lower. Will it still look nice? Yes. So yeah, I'm gonna have that one on here. I already. Uh, rounded corners, inked it, just to save on a little bit of time. Love it. I collect cabinet cards. Oh, guys, I found so many of them. I found a Victorian um, antique a photo album. Um, I'm gonna have a video on on that one on Sunday. It's a it's a vintage treasure for sure. Oh, I love it. Then I thought, why not put something like this on here? Yeah, yeah. Again, inked it. Do we want another sort of label? One of the same. Do we? Or maybe over here? Oh yes, over here for sure. <clears throat> I'm not going to cover the beautiful sort of writing over there. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, Kit Michelle. Now, why am I not making a junk journal or a journal with this kit? Um, well, a couple of reasons. Uh, but the biggest reason is Michelle is also doing, um, of course, a journal with the kit. So go visit her channel. She is brilliant. She's brilliant. And I have seen Gail Acostinelli also uh, print out the kit. So most likely she is going to do something. She's going to do something. Are we going to put something here? If so, what? Oh, with a cute button on here. It's just, you know, per accident. Is it a little bit too wide? Do we want something with a print on it? Don't do all of these. Then you need to print them out again. No, I'm going to do... I am going to do this one. Yes. Will we ink it? No, I think it's... It's, it's good. And then I'm going to put a button on here. Yep. Oh, Michelle, uh, the sizes of uh, the buttons and the small circles, they matched the circle punches. Yay! So I didn't need to do any sort of fuzzy cutting. Oh, it's done. That one's done. I don't like this one. Do I have a small? Ooh. Ooh there you go. Yeah, so that, you know, I'm very happy with that because cutting circles and especially the half inch circle ones, I don't know how you can manage that. 
Uh, well, there are two labels then. Um, I'm going to move it about a little bit, I guess. I don't think it matches when I put it straight in this straight line. So that's why I'm doing this. I am using art for this. Putting the button on. Like so. So cute. So cute. Do we want anything here? That's too big. Too big. Not a button. Oh, I also have numbers. I have numbers. Well, I don't have numbers. Michelle has numbers. I have the number 14. Or 14.2. Or 33. Bingo. Oh, it's going to be 33. Yes, my age. <laughs> it's not my age, lovies. It's not my age. Oh, speaking of which. Um, yeah. I'm going to have my Q&A. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Um, and you can still send in questions. Because I had some questions. What? How old are you? Well, that's not nice to ask. But I'm going to tell you. In my Q&A. Uh, don't post the... Um, uh, well, you can post the questions in the comment section, but, you know, if you have a lot of questions, you can email me, sevenplaza.yt at gmail.com. I know I'm speaking really fast, but it is uh, in the description box below. So, I absolutely love this. Does this need anything? Anything at all? Another button, maybe? No, we're not going to do anything to this. Uh, yes, I am going to do something here. Just a small label. Just a small label. Your bits and bobs are amazing, Michelle. I love it. Also could have cut out some words, but you know, I'm not really good with words. So yes, here, here, here and here. Uh, I want to do ha have something on here. I already inked this one. I thought this would be lovely. Maybe with another small card. Or a heart. Lots of cards. I did have something in mind. But I can't find it anymore. This one. Yes. This one. Gonna have this one on here. Don't tell me. My other glue stick is also done. Yep. Yep, all the glue sticks are done. I have this on here. Oh, it's not cute. Now, I think this is much from my um, printer, so I want to cover it. So I'm gonna cover it like so. Cute little heart. There's still a little bit glue left. Sure, love, sure. Could have also put a button there. Yes, you could have. Oh, yeah, we're going to cover up this sort of black spot. Label? No, love. Are we going to do anything here? Maybe maybe just a button? Oh, just a button. There's still some glue coming out. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. Oh, it's it's so much. It's so much, but I love it. I do love it. This goes here, here, here. We have we need something here. What do we need? Another number. This one. Oh, let's do this label. Let's do this one. <coughs> yep. Art's out. Let's let's take some art. Just here on the button. Yeah. Button here, there, here, there. It's going to fold in here. Fantastic. Now I have uh, some cards that I want to put in these pockets. I have three cards. Um, one in this pocket, this pocket. And I want to add one more to the back pocket. Yeah, this one over here. And I have it like so. I did back it with some paper. Uh, I didn't know... 
it is it well it's upside down <laughs> but that's okay <clears throat> i have this heart and i think it would look nice on here yeah you think just gonna put it on gonna be inking some like so and i was thinking i don't know if it will look nice to have this on here in the middle I think it's nice. I'm just going to do it. Instead of a label. Let's do something completely different. Uh, do we have this paper? I can glue on. Yes, so it's just a scrap. Yes, I could have used it. But believe me, I already have so many scraps of this set. It's not even funny. So I'm using it as a glue paper. No, I was thinking, can I have it off the page? But um, I'm not going to because I also want to have this one on here. Um, inking? Yeah. Yes, ink. I am not rounding the corners. Why not? Because it has a straight border all around it. And then if you round corners, it'll look odd. It just will look funny. Ooh, there's a lot of fun there. We are having um, bad weather in the Netherlands at the moment. Lots of hailstorms and thunder and rain and such. When I was a very, very young girl, I was so afraid of the thunderstorms. Um, very young, like four or five. Nobody could leave the room. When there was a thunderstorm on, no, nobody could leave the room. Stay here, you have to stay here with me. And even though there were enough people in the room, no one could leave. I wasn't like, don't leave me alone. No, everyone, stay here. I have no clue why that was. Nowadays, um, I love thunderstorms, especially when I want to fall asleep. Yes. Love it now. I know they're dangerous, um, but we're not in any real danger uh, in this area because there are a lot of sort of high buildings sort of all around the village here and... Um, with lightning catchers on them. So for the other two cards, I have a rounded corners. I have backed them with this page. It has some lovely doves on the bottom and some lace up here. So you can actually have them as journal cards inked all around them. I am not going to put anything on the front, I think. Don't think so. Uh, just a small label here, small one, like, yeah, well, yeah. Found new glues. Um, well, I have a lot of glue sticks in stock, but uh, it's all the way on the other side of my craft room. Yes, also doing a craft room tour, but not um, not anytime soon. Can I have this like over here or? maybe or oh, this one oh that's cute yeah i didn't like cutting this out no because there are a lot of small sort of pieces and i'm like more of a fussy cutter that's going to be very close to the image to itself so i'm not gonna leave a big border all around it so yeah that wasn't fun fantastic does it need something on the on the front That could be cute. Well, if it's cute, then put it on, love. Pinky fingers. Whoa, it's getting dark outside. It's um, half past one in the afternoon. And it looks like it's already like seven at the, in, in the evening. It's really, really dark. Does this need, this doesn't need anything. Yes, it does. Yes, it does, because I've been thinking. Um, I didn't have any top on this one. No, I'm going to put this one over here, in here, with this little bow. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to put the bigger one in this pocket, of course, because we made this to this side. size. I'm not going to put a topper on it, because I really like the 
bow of the tag sticking out. Yeah, so I'm not going to mess with this. However, I think if we put this in here, it would be nice if I had another sort of bow thingy here. Right? I think so. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do it. Um, the first one I can glue with art, not the second one. Did I ink it? Yeah, I inked the bottoms already. I'm going to put it as close as I can to the top. I love this idea, Michelle. And then uh, this one I need to glue with glue stick. I need to maneuver it about a little bit. Almost perfect. There's a little bit over here. I'm going to take out my small scissors. Now, a lovely subscriber sent me a picture of these scissors on Amazon. They're called eyebrow scissors. Eyebrow scissors. Because I have a lot of questions um, about these scissors. What are, sort of scissors are those? And where do you, can you get them? On Amazon. It's eyebrow scissors. Or eyelash or eyebrow scissors. Look for it. Look for it. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, I especially love it over here. Oh, Michelle. You brilliant, brilliant woman. <clears throat> so, uh, this is going to go in here, like so, yep, and this is going to, are, are those all the cards that I'm making? I guess so, I guess so, we're done, yay, let's look at the end result, here it is, it is very much to the max out there. <laughs> But I still love it. I absolutely adore it. Now, you can have this. This is like a, a page. Put it uh, as a page in your journal. That's why I didn't give you real measurements. Because maybe your journal is smaller, bigger. And, you know, I just eyeballed sort of everything. This was the only sort of tricky one. And it's only tricky because I really wanted to have the label on the front. I don't know why. I just wanted this. So, you open it up like so. This is the closure. See? So, uh, it doesn't fall open. Now, if you want to have this... Um, as a standalone piece, just put another lovely piece of um, Michelle's print on here and then put one of the library card pockets on here or one of the envelopes or what have you. What have you? Do something nice. Open it up like so. Yeah. Uh, we decorated it here. Another label here. <clears throat> Love the idea of the label with the button. Almost like I've sewn it on. Yeah, I didn't because, you know, I cannot sew a button. And then we have this lovely card with the with the bow. Oh, I love the bows. They're fantastic. Yep. And then you can journal on the back with another bow. Another bow. There you go. We open it up. We have another button here. Love this collage. Isn't it cute? I just, just love, love, love it. With another card. Another topper because I wanted to, this to be the biggest topper. Yep. And you can journal on the back if you want to. I rounded corners on the cards. Uh, so they will slide in much easier than if it had like the straight <coughs> corners. Oh, it's peeking out here. Oh, that's lovely. That's the, the lace. Um, another pretty collage. Then this big pocket that I trimmed all around. Don't you like it? I love it. It's really, really cute. Then we have this card. Didn't do anything to the front. I put this big heart on the back. And it's upside down. But that's okay. And then this with the bow. Isn't it lovely? It does sort of cover her head a little bit. Maybe I should have picked another card. But you know. And then Amsterdam is on here. Yeah, well. It's okay, I guess. Would have loved to have seen Rotterdam on here. But you know. You cannot have it all. That's it, guys. I hope you liked it. See, you can close it up like so. Because this is sort of very sturdy uh, paper. Um, it will not break or bend or... Yeah. Hope you liked it. I loved it. I love it. It's a lot. I know it's a lot. 
Thank you again for Michelle uh, to Michelle for this wonderful kit. I am on her design team, which means, guys, um, just to be sort of transparent, um, Michelle gives me this kit to play with. Yeah, that's why, because I'm on a design team. Thank you a lot for that, guys. It is available um, on Etsy, and the freebies are available on Kofi. Uh, her Kofi and her Etsy, not mine. I will link both of them below, yeah? Guys, that's it for today. It's Friday, which means um, the weekend's here. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I will have a short video on this Sunday with a vintage treasure haul. Yeah, I found some pretty good items that I want to share with you guys. So, hope you will see me on Sunday. Until then, bye guys.